I sit face down with my head in my arms while a pool of tears is flowing in my palms. I'm listening to cries being thrown around and the walls around me are echoing the sound, making it twice as loud and twice as frightening. Conflict is building up like thunder and lightning. I'm only seven years old and I hear her cries. I see her tears in the darkest of nights and any time his voice is raised, I wanna punch his face. I wanna hold her close and leave this place and my heart breaks any time I see her face in my mind. In my mind, I've killed him a thousand times and I've injected him with the pain that I see in her eyes. How could an angel so pure become a victim of the devil? I'm frozen in time, but my mind never settles. I can't help but think patience killed my mother, and now I'm impatient to kill my mother's lover. They try to beautify their customs, but all I hear is screeches. They tell me it's in a book, but their book is their preachers. I'm calling out to you, but the scream never reaches. Mother, may your soul rest in peace as my heart lives in pieces. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're officially starting now. Um, Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Again, thank you all for coming. I appreciate it's Ramadan and many of you are hungry and tired and thirsty, but we appreciate the fact that you came to um, join us for the four hours out of your 19 to fast with us. I mean, to you know, <laughs> stay with us. But by the end of it, you know that you only have three hours left to wait. So hopefully it's a productive evening or day. Um, my name is Sana Akba, and I'm Campaigns and Publicity Manager at MENA Regional Consulting. Um, for those of you who don't know, MENARC is the force and sole sponsor at the moment um, for the Lil Yemen campaign. The Lil Yemen campaign is only a few months in the making, but by the grace of God and your kind support, we have gained support in, in the UK and in Yemen as well. Um, it was created to tackle the issue of child marriage and FGM. Uh, although the latter is not as prominent in, in Yemen, um, it's still an issue that we have to deal with on a global scale. And we are trying to um, do our bits um, on, on, the, on the front lines. Um, we hope to approach this subject in a new and unique fashion, in a culturally sensitive way, without pointing fingers or putting the blame on parents who in their eyes are just trying to protect their, their daughters. Um, we know it's by no means a vision for short-term duration, and, and we are hoping to take this into the long-term, and we know it requires long-term effort and uh, requirements as, and commitments as well. We also are, um, we're also not underestimating the challenges we face for the Linium and campaign. Um, there may be a lot of good, goodwill around this topic today, and many people are pledging to change um, their mindsets. This needs to be sustained and uh, supported not just by law and legislation, but through communities and um, societies as a whole. So far, we at Lil Yemen are focusing on reaching the mindsets of our own community in the UK. We've done this by um, conducting awareness workshops, and our last, uh, our first uh, workshop was in Sheffield, which was held last month, um, and by my humble opinion, it was successful, um, and we had loads of people from different walks of life, men, women, you'll see more um, on the video we are about to show. Our next workshops, we're hoping to target Liverpool, Cardiff, and Birmingham to take the, the front lines over there as well. We've also just held our first Sana'a conference on Saturday. This was in partnership with um, Sisters Arab Forum for Human Rights under the leadership of the renowned um, Emel El Basha, who some of you may know. Um, again, thank you for your time, ears, and support, and we hope this event is as beneficial to you as it is to us.